If you could give an overview of the data, data ecosystem as you see it. My name is Kirk McEwen. Um, for background, uh, I spent 20 years on the buy side uh, in investment management. Uh, and I worked mostly at three firms, uh, Tudor Investments, Glenview Capital, and uh, I joined SAC in 2012, which became Point72. Um, and I built research systems at those shops. Uh, so my last role at Point72, I, I had built and run market intelligence, um, which was the proprietary research business for the firm. Sitting in that seat, I was a big buyer of alternative data, you know, sort of was, was buying millions and millions of dollars worth of data on an annualized basis. It had a balance sheet at a time when, looking back to 12 years ago, when credit card data was first proliferating on the street, and it you know, sort of was, was, was in the mix buying that data. It was a great seat. But what became very clear uh, in sitting in that seat was that, well, we had balance sheet to buy. Uh, a lot of firms, and certainly the companies we were investing in, didn't necessarily have the same balance sheet. Supply and demand are really far apart in the data ecosystem, and that's sort of the, the fundamental sort of first principle that I would lay out in thinking about the data ecosystem is that data is bought and sold as a capex, not as an opex, right? And so you need a, a, you know, a, a fair amount of capital ploy against uh, the purchase of a data set and or a portfolio of data sets. Once you do that, you need to bring it into your house uh, transform structure, you know, sort of evolve into use case development and KPIs uh, that requires engineers and scientists. 